young man, this should be the last time of stepping a foot in my house. My daughter is not meant for tramps like you. Um, sorry, ma'am. You see, um... I love your daughter. And the love I have for your daughter is worth more than a billion naira. Ma, I am a young man, a graduate, and I have prospects. I promise hey, you. Out! Get out! If you have seen a billion naira before, you would understand the magnitude. Out! out. Welcome. When did you come? Not quite long, a few minutes ago. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and you couldn't call to tell me that you're coming That's back. because it's a surprise, mommy. So tell me, how was service? It was awesome. Everything went well, it was just awesome. But mommy, it wasn't easy. Ah. But, you see those soldiers? They dealt with us, mommy. Hmm. We wake up very early in the morning and you have to exercise, you have to jump and do all sorts of exercise. Mommy, I'm tired though. Escaping fit. Oh, it is. It's not easy. It is. That's camp for you. So, Jen, what have you decided on what we've been discussing over the phone? Mommy, we've discussed about a lot of things. I've really forgotten. Which one are you talking about? You joining my business. You're my only child and now you're done with school. I don't <sighs> think I want to continue risking my business into the hands of strangers. Strangers? Hmm. Mommy, what exactly do you mean by strangers? What are you saying? None of my staffs are related to me. I want you to come in at a time like this. But mommy... Come on, you've been working with these people over the years. They've been serving you diligently. So what are you saying? What, what would make them change now? Don't you think it is wise for my child, my only child, to join my business while I'm still alive? Okay, fine. If that's exactly what you want, mommy, then it shall be done. I don't have a problem with that. That is what I want. Consider it done. I don't, I don't, have, I don't want to have issues with you. Promise? It's done. Like I said, it's done. Like okay. D O N E, done. All right. Okay. Um. How about Auntie Grace? Oh, she is doing great. Oh, fine. <laughs> I really missed her. Oh, well, you get to see her. And do not change your mind. Mommy, I won't change my mind. But there's something I miss so much. What? Your meal. Oh, you didn't tell me you were coming. Mm, you're going to cook for me yourself. Why, what are you doing in this town and where are you coming from? Oh, 
how many questions am I supposed to answer? Answer at once? all. <laughs> answer all. You are the bad girl. Where have you been? <laughs> Ever since we left school, I've been looking for you like American Visa. Where have you been? And the number you gave me, it's not going anymore. What happened? I'm sorry, my darling. You know, I actually lost my number. So I did not want to go through the stress of retrieving. So I got a totally different line altogether. But let's push that aside. Mm -hmm. You tell me, how is life generally? <sighs> I'm managing life. Mm, you look good. What are you talking about? Yes, I'm managing. Look at me. Okay, so what are you doing here? I came for a job interview. Oh, yeah, a friend of mine linked me up to one and he said the interview is going to be up. I should um, come with my CV. So that's why I'm here. My dear, you're lucky. Ever since we finished school, I haven't gotten a job yet. Job? I'm jobless. Jane, you talking about job. <laughs> Are you kidding me? How can you be talking about job when you're from a rich family? Who doesn't know you? Go oh, look at you. You own a car. You are comfortable? Oh, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just <laughs> hold it there. The sound of bitter cola in the mouth is totally different from its taste. Just get that. Oh, Don't judge a book by the cover. Leave my dad for my tires. I know why. Who don't know you? No, who don't know, know you? So. <laughs> Girl. Oh my God, okay. I'm so happy. Same here. I'm extremely excited. You know, I was on my way to see one of my friends. So now I've seen you, can you come along with me? I'm not gonna waste time there. Now you they talk like this. You want to go get one. You want to oh, follow you like this, so <laughs> I wanna do anything again today. Okay, let's I'm go. so going with you. Look Says she's your old school friend. Yes, she is. And she's very brilliant. Still very brilliant. Although she's very stubborn. So, uh, what's the name of the company you said uh, you went for interview? Oh, the company is Wazico Global Concepts. Yes, that's the name of the company. Lucky you. I know that company. They're into meeting. You do know them? Yes. That my friend happens to be the friend to the boss of that company. You see? You see how God works. So you stop panicking. Ooh. Um, I guess I'll just um call him or better still, I'll take you there myself. I'm sure when we get there things will begin to manifest. You will take me there yourself. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh my god, I promise you, I'm not going to disappoint you. I will not disappoint you. Thank you so much. I thank you for doing this. Thank that you. That makes it a lot easier. Excuse me. Why are you thanking me? Thank you for thanking me. <laughs> Babe, you have to be on our way now. No, you just have to hide. How can you be Yes, honest? you know my mother. You know the kind of person she is. She is very tough. I don't want her problems. But you, don't worry, I'll call you. You just came. Can I have five more minutes? Mm. Babe, we have to go home. Yes. I'll call you. How about the malt? I know I know much the malt. Okay. Okay, we'll drink a little.
I guess this is why I'm going to stop. Well, I, I never knew I was going to get this job today. But I told you my friend is a close friend to the CEO of that company. I am ever grateful to you. Thank you so much. Oh, come on. I told you I'd do anything for you. Thank you. I appreciate. <laughs> but I told you I'd do anything for you. Look at your beautiful eyes. Lovely nose. Luscious lips. A complete beauty you are. You're adorable, so I'll do anything for you. What about my friend, Jane? Oh, come on, I told you I'll handle Jane. You don't have to bother yourself about that. Anyway, I, I can't say anything for now. You don't have to say anything for now. I want you to think about it. Trust me, you will never regret it. I think I have to go now. Alright. One more thing. You are adorable. I'll see you soon. Um, driver, please. I need you to drive carefully. I don't want anything to happen to the woman after my heart. You hear me? Yes, sir. You'll be all right. I'll see you soon. I'm telling you. <laughs> so Desmond, mm -hmm. how about we paying the man off so that he can leave the whole project for us? Just for us. <laughs> you think that'll be easy? Why not? See, every businessman needs money to fund his business. So why won't he accept money? Hmm. You don't understand. What I mean is that, are we going to be able to afford what he may demand? Meaning? Meaning that we should let him handle that stuff. Then we sit back and get our share. I disagree with that. That's when you know me too well. I don't like competition. And I wouldn't want to be in competition with anyone. So, Make him mention any amount. I am ready to pay. <laughs> well, if that's what you say, there's no problem. I said so. I am ready. I'll do as you said. I'll be counting on you. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, mm. I can't wait for us to have that all alone. Mm. You know what it is? I know. Hmm. Millions we'll do of good business with it. <laughs> Refurbished and. Um... Jane, Jane, Jane. How many times did I call you? But I'm listening. I'm listening to you. Between Namdi and Austin, who do you prefer to have as a husband? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That question is really difficult. But I'll answer it. You know, the truth is that I. I really love Namdi. He's a graduate, loving, caring. I love him. Just that he doesn't have a job yet. And then as for Austin, he hasn't discussed anything that has to do with marriage to me. Okay, if you love Austin, why don't you go for him? Make no mistakes. Oh goodness. <sighs> There is no reason, other than love, that anyone should choose a spouse or a husband. It has to be love and not money. Not how much a man has in his account. I know. 
Who is this calling you? Why, why don't you pick up your call? It's nothing. Pay no attention. Let's go back to what we're talking it's about. It's nothing. Are you sure it's really nothing? Okay, if you do not want to pick up the call, why don't you switch it off? Or rather, you, you put it on silent? Yes, I think that is what I should do. But before then, let me just take this call now. Excuse me. Hello? Yes? Nothing? When we see. Yes, of course. When we see. Okay, I will. Bye. I told you. It's nothing. It's just a friend, a colleague from my office. So back to what we were saying. Marriage. You should marry for love, marry for character, you know, things like that and not money. You don't seem to be very comfortable. Why do you say that? I'm okay. <laughs> you, you, you seem nervous or I'm something. I'm just worried about you. I mean, you should make a choice on time. What about you? Why haven't you made a choice? I mean, you have not even told me anything that has to do with you and any relationship. Oh, I haven't? Mm -mm, no, you have. I should have. You told me the dream. Oh, there was... Oh, really? There should be somebody somewhere. There's something I would like to discuss with you. What could that be? It's about our neighbor's name. What about him? Mm -hmm. I took that fat girl that has been from there. I thought both of them are dating. Since you know, why then are you asking me? Eh? Because he's not carrying another girl. And it's not fair. How does that concern you? Our salary? It's for neighbor stage. Hey. Why is it that you always poke me into people's business? Eh? Uh -huh. I'm a boss. Must you go? Why not spend the night? What? What did you just say? Spend the night? Where? Here. <laughs> My God. When am I going to tell Jane? Where will I tell her I slept? All right, next time you want to spend the night here, I'll give you an idea what to tell her. Okay. Till then. For today, I have to go. What? Wait. Then switch off his phone. Good. You're good? Yes. There's a problem. Yeah. Hi. Uh, oh, hi. Oh. Hello? What? Now? Oh, 
okay, don't worry, I'm on my way home. I'm on my way home already, yeah. yeah. Don't worry. Really, I hope everything is okay with you. You, you don't look good to me. Everything is alright, baby. <laughs> everything is alright. Alright, I have to hurry home now. There's an emergency. I should, I should be asking you the call. Is everything alright? I just told you, there's an emergency. I have to hurry home. I'll come back once again. Alright, baby. I love you. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. You won't come inside. No, no, don't worry. It's an emergency. Oh, okay. I'll see you. Okay. Careful, please. Stop, this is too risky. What if she had caught us? What if she catches us tomorrow? Oh my god, I can't call it. It just has to stop. What are we doing? What has gotten over me? How can I be doing this? The other day you called me, I was right seated with her. I know the kind of diplomacy it took for me to cover up. But you were calling me, you were calling my phone. We need to stop this. I don't know what got over me. This is a mistake. Why me? Why, 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 why me? Oh. Young man, this should be the last time of stepping a foot in my house. My daughter is not meant for tramps like you. Um, I'm sorry, ma'am. You see, um, I love your daughter and the love I have for your daughter is worth more than a billion naira. Ma, I am a young man, a graduate, and I have prospects. I promise hey, you. Out! Get out! If you have seen a billion naira before, you would understand the magnitude. Out? Mom? Get out! What are you doing? Um, Nandi. Nandi. Come back here before I do something stupid. Mom! What was that you just did? I mean, what is the meaning of what you've just done? Don't you want me to get married? Any suitor that comes here, you chase the person away. You don't want to see me with any man. Why is that? Mommy, why do you hate me so much yet you pretend to love me? I don't hate you. I'm just allergic to that word poverty. It's evil. I don't want to ever be associated with it. Mommy, what exactly are you talking about, Mom? Mommy, this guy is a graduate. He has prospects. Talking about poverty. Mommy, were you born rich? No. Were you born with silver spoon? I go around with silver spoon. And I'm not ready to gamble. I don't in life. Oza present. And that is what it should be. It took me real effort to swim out of poverty from my late husband, your father, who is very lazy. I would not leave my daughter, my only child to such stream when I say I am giving you out the man must worth it get out it's my life mom it's my life you cannot dictate who is going to get married to me this is frustrating what sort of a mother is this nothing That is the new order of this country. The rich relates to the rich, and the poor relates to the poor. Yes. 
the rich gets richer and the poor gets poorer. But what is difficult for her to believe that I have respect? Why? Why is that woman this wicked? Oh, I, you're talking about prospects in this our country today. One, if you don't have anything in one neighbor, I cannot tell like prospects. Yeah. So don't talk about prospects. Then she should take her daughter to abroad. Because she would definitely not get what she seeks in these countries of ours. I believe she's just being wicked and unfair. No woman in this our town today will give out her daughter to somebody who doesn't have one. All of the women now prefer someone who is not a Noiji Ego. Even Andy goes Noiji Ego. So if you don't have more, nothing for you. I think I have to go to sleep. And go to another city. I know Jane wants to marry me. I know. Because of Jane, you want to leave this town to go to another town. See, let me tell you, the same person you are thinking of right now might have somebody in this town and you don't know. So don't be saying things you don't know like this. Ah, come Calm down. Calm down, everything will be fine. Let's calm down. hate me so much. Why? Is it because father is no more? Jane? Yes. Mom, I mean every word of it. Why do you hate me? Why? Where is this idea springing up from? Mommy, at this age and time, you shouldn't be the one to choose my life partner for me. Because I am the one that's going to spend the rest of my life with him and not you. Oh, that one. <laughs> It means a lot to me, mommy. It does. Sit, my dear. Sit. Jenny. What an old man says, sit in. A young man can never see it while standing. Mommy, I don't understand what you just said. I mean, I don't understand what you mean by this. This man in question is my man. I have dated him for like six months. I know him too well. If there's anything that should be inquired at all, it should be from me and no one else. I love you. I don't know why you're not saying it. I wouldn't want to wish you away suffering. And who told you that marrying a man I love would lead to that? Poverty. My dear, poverty breeds all kinds of suffering. Huh. Mommy, I know a lot of couple that are poor, married for years, and extremely happy. So what are you talking about, Mommy? <laughs> oh, heavens. <laughs> The world is too much with us. They are only putting up an act. Trying not to appear troubled. Why praying heavily to overcome the burden? Mommy, why do you seem to hate the poor so much? I don't hate anybody. I just hate that word. Poverty. My dear, I fought poverty and it wasn't easy. So I am not ready to initiate another. Get it. Mommy, please, I beg of you. 
stay out of anything that has to do with my marriage. It is my choice to make and not yours. Please. <laughs> Jane, no man can make you happy without money. They are only faking it. Get that, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, she won't understand now. the look of things my mother doesn't want me to get married to a poor man even the Austin himself is not rich yes he is not but I have to advise him on what to do so that my mother can accept him and if she doesn't accept him afterwards then I would do otherwise he is the only one I have left. What? Choma! Choma, you? What are you doing on the same bed with my man? I can no, shut up! What do you know that you want to explain? Chuma, after everything I did for you, after everything, this is how you decided to pay me back. And you, Austin, when you came into this town, I took care of you. I sheltered you, I clothed you, I've been doing virtually everything for you. And the, the only way you could pay me back is to sleep with my friend, my best friend. I have nothing to say to you, but I wish you well. Trust my 
mismo. No vamos a ver qué hacer. useless in life. So, because I did not follow you to the farm, I'm now useless. Oh, thank God you know that. How can an old man like you, we sit at home doing nothing while your aged mother, we go to the farm all alone? How? Eh? Mama, are you aged? No, I'm asking you now, you, you're you still young now, Mama. You're already attracting laziness. That's where I see this talk going. Huh? You're aged. <laughs> so I'm only the age now, but I, Mama, please leave that thing. Is it about this farm work? I don't like farm work. I don't like farm work. The other places or other areas I help you out. Come on, ask about. Come on, ask. Hmm? I don't like farm work. I, don't, I can't. I can't. I hate. I can't. Oh, you can't. But you are here eating the food. The product that comes out of, out of that farm that you said you don't want to go to. Mm -hmm. Eh? Mm -hmm. So the fact that I don't like going to the farm, I will not eat it again. Mama, it's not here now. Eh? Yes. Mama, can If you like, don't go and look for something that will better your life. How can a man like you be lazy like this? Eh? All you know how to do it best is to wake up in the morning, eat and go back to sleep. Eh? Before you know it now, this kind of character will lead into robbery. You threw my curry. Yes. I'd rather throw it to my flowers to eat it than for you to sit here and eat it. I'm not here. Mama. What's Mama? Mama. Mama. I am beginning to get tired of this village. Um, I'm in the same page with you. I've started making contacts. Why is your hand shaking? Leave, I beg. We'll get things we want to discuss. I'm also thinking in the same direction. I've started making my own contacts. On the city, I'm going to settle it. But the truth of the matter, the reason I'm still in this village is that I have not gotten good response from my friends that, I'm, that I've been calling. Yeah, that's it. I, I, I don't know what is wrong with you. Oh, yes. Do you think that you will have this kind of freedom that you have here in the city? Yes, now. Something like when you want uh, for me, you just come to this one and get it joint. You get it. When you want a uh, bush meat, when you come here, you get it. See, in the city, there is a lot of disturbance, a lot of restriction to movement, coffee here and there, police people. Chooks, 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 please. Shut up. If you don't have anything reasonable to say, just shut up. Look, a real men are talking here, trying to plan for their future. You're here talking about um, Pame, freedom, coffee, okay? Are you all right? So 10 years from now, all you'll be saying is talking. Okay? Same reason I've always said it. That you're always on the left side of life. What is Mama Kechi talking meat and all that? Is that the way you want to live your life? I don't know why you even called this guy called Choose to this gathering. I called you because I wanted us to reason. Not to sit with somebody that is really, really bad. How do you mean? Coffee and all that. Is that going to restrict us from making money? 
Yeah, I'm just talking about freedom. But fine, since you don't, you people don't want that one. I have something else that will interest you both. You people that think from the right side of your brain. There is this our friend that said something about a friend of his that knows a pastor that washes away him dances. Everything that will hinder us from making money, they will start making money. Boom! I, I, I think I've heard something like that. It's uh, the, that pastor that they call uh, Jesus. Um, Jesus something that at some point now. But I was there. What he, what he talked about actually is uh, that the pastor is going to take whosoever person that is interested to a river with a ram, kill the ram, use the blood in baiting that particular person, as in washing all your transgression, your as in everything that is holding you down from making money. And the next thing that you get, boom, money, money everywhere. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Imagine such nonsense. What do you mean? Wait, so how? How? Ah, ah, Austin, the way I'm looking at you now, look at, look at your mouth. Eh, I think you've heard about it. Don't go and sell your future to the devil. Don't even go and sell your future to the devil. Believe in such nonsense. How do you mean? You see the reason I don't like sitting out with this guy? You brought about the topic and you're saying, don't go and sell your... What's the meaning of that now? Why did you even call this guy to this gathering? Why? I think he has a point. Eh? Thank you. For the very first time, Austin is in line with me. I am right. There is sense in what I said. Austin, you know Chich very well. And you're in support of him. Someone you rightly know that is, he thinks from the left side of life. Ah, Austin. No, 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 no. I'm not comfortable with this any longer. Madam, how much be your bill? Madam. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. I'm living here. If I pay for this stuff now, I'll live here. How much? Four, five. That is hot sun. Can't the matter wait to leave it? Well, I'm on my way to your house to see you. To see me? Yes. Look, I can't be the reason you're walking under this hot sun. Well, like I said, what is going on? Your mother, our sister, has been complaining about you. What is it? She has been complaining that you have been fighting her. And as an elder, I don't want to judge from one person's complaint. I want to hear from you. What is going on? Now, you I don't know what I have done to my mother. I don't know why she hates me. I don't know why she's been fighting me. How do you mean? You don't know? Then why is she complaining? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. She just wants to complain. She just wants to keep telling everybody that I am good for nothing like she calls me. What have I done wrong? Okay, uncle, this matter is not something we should discuss here. But if you want to hear it, I'll tell you now. Go ahead, go ahead, I'm all ears. I don't know what I've done to my mother. I don't know. The other day I came back, there was no food in me. I decided, no problem. Huh? I was soaking Gary and this woman came and, 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 and then she, 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 she threw the food away. She did? She did. And it resulted into fighting? Make an inquiry. F fight me. No, there is no way I'll fight my mother. I love my mother. My mother is the only person that has problems with me. I don't know what I have done. I don't know what I have done. Am I the first person to be this tall and I don't have a job? Is it my fault? I've been trying. I know how hard I work just to get a job. But my mother does not see my effort. She comes back because I'm good for, especially that word, good for nothing. Everything that has to do with nothing, she attaches it to my name. And Udo, Udo, but I want you to be my mother. She's doing fighting. Okay, I will see what I can do. I will see her. You have to iron this thing out. 
Austin, just look at all of us. We are from your maternal home. You know every one of us here. We are your mother's brothers. We are here today to punish you for maltreating your mother, our sister. Hmm. You must finish this water. That is your punishment. And if you don't, start drinking it now and we order these boys to stop beating you. Please, can I say something? Uh, you have nothing to say. We do the talking here. No swabber. Austin, if you can remember, the other time I visited you, I asked you what is going on between you and your mother. Why is she always compl complaining that you are fighting her? Austin, you lied to me. Now it's obvious to me that you really want to send your mother to an early grave. Rubbish. Now you there. Even a convicted person will be allowed to say something. Can I just say something? You're going to say it, you I just told you, you have nothing to say. We will do the talking for you. You want to be a cook? You want me to be a cook? You want me to be a cook? Just go ahead and start drinking the water. You want me to be a cook? You want me to be a cook? Otherwise, you will use this girl now. You want me to be a cook? You want me to be a cook? You see what you have done to yourself? Look at you. Eh? Oh, but my brothers, please. Please, let's pardon him for today. Hey. Eh? Please. Uh, mama, 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 please. Allow please, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mama. Allow mama, allow us, to, allow us to do what we came here to do. We will not allow us to hear your son to send you to an early grave. Uh, yeah. Am I lying? You are, you are saying the truth. Uh, Start uh, drinking uh, the water. Uh, uh, I couldn't step outside. Step outside. Start oh, taking the water. Start taking the water. Mama, stay I, out. Am I not the person that called you? Hey. Oh. I couldn't step out of this. Uh, well, I couldn't step, step outside. Chaluno, please. Are we begging you? I am not here. You call me. What now? What are you doing? What are you doing? Mama. What are you doing? What are you doing? Mama, stay out. Now, Austin, this one will be weak like this. Now, the man and I make you come down soon. Like Austin, let me ask you. Did you not tell them how your mom used to rain all manners of abuses on you? All for the sake that you're not working and you don't have money? You not tell them about her? Of course I told them. I told them everything. But they were just bent on punishing me. But that's not my anger. So what's your anger? Obina. Ha! Small boy. Obina. Obina is the king. See if I was a kid. Obina, that one that is walking like this. Raise the cane at you. It's an Obina. It's an Obina. <laughs> See, uh, it, it's, not, it's, not, it's not funny actually, but I, I believe Austin might have done something very terrible to his mother that we warrant her calling her people to come and punish him. So, Austin, just tell us what is it that you've done? Okay. Chooks. If you don't have anything important to say, just shut up. It's just that I'm contemplating on what we make his mother call her people all the way from his maternal home. No, no, no. no. You might have done something very terrible. Just, just tell us. Are you, Chips, are you going to shut up or not? In fact, leave here. No, I'm, I'm just rubbing mine. You get no, yeah, you're, 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 you're rubbing mine. You're rubbing mine here. here. No, wait, let's rub mine. My problem with this guy is that he doesn't think in the same line with us. He's always thinking from the left hand of, of, of frame. When we're thinking right, he'll be thinking the other way around. Uh, 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 my guy, Austin, just calm down, okay? Calm down, let's just think, look for a way forward, okay? Relax your mind, let's know what we're going to do to move ahead, okay? Because it's actually not getting funny. I know what to do. You know, whatever that it is, whatever decision you come up with, I heart you. I've got your back, okay? Just let me know. Problem I have with... Just imagine Obina, Otanjiri, raising a cane at you. Oh, this is the height of it. Completely the height of it.
greedy woman. Ega fuisia. Ah. Ega fuisia. If only I could. In quest for riches, greediness and selfishness took over you. I do not want enough for food. Kedulu waga balogi. I could not my sister. You are here. How are you? I'm fine. You're welcome. Ah, please, let me come. Sure, come on. Go on the way. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Make your friends with us. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. How are you coming in? How are your children and your wife? My dear, everybody is fine. It's just hunger. Hunger? Mm. <laughs> ah, that one is a general disease. It's everywhere. Mm -hmm. eh? But when there is, since there is life, I believe there is, there is hope. hope. You are right. You are right. <laughs> 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 Nani, I don't even know what to offer you this morning. No, don't bother yourself. Mm. I've come to see how you are doing. Ah, as you can see. God has been faithful for me. By the way, uh, what of your son, Austin? Oh. How yes. has he been doing since that day? Nine. Since that day, I have not set my eyes on my son. Since the torture that day triggered everything, I have searched everywhere, but I couldn't find my son. <coughs> Where could he have been? You have searched everywhere you did not see him. I didn't see him. I don't know where he would be now. I don't know. Well, it's okay. As long as he's alive, wherever he is, let him be there. At least you will rest. Because you see, his presence here always triggers your BP. So let him be there. But now he doesn't mean. Let him come back. Eh? You know, he is my only child. Oh. He's better than mom. Huh? Eh? I couldn't. No. Are you the one saying this? Yes, you you, you won't understand. I couldn't. No. Hey, um, why you care about him? I couldn't. You invited me and my brothers here to come and beat Austin, to come and display him. I couldn't. Supposing as we are beating Austin, he fainted here that day. You will carry your hand up. Ah, I did not tell you to give my son. Uh, I did not invite you to come and deal with my son. Uh, eh? Or tomorrow, Austin, become somebody. And he referred to this issue. You will now deny me. No, I couldn't. I'm surprised at you. You won't understand. Don't be surprised. Hey! You won't understand. Hey. 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 I couldn't. I saw my soldier. Nani, where are you going now? Nani, are you going? Nani, ah, please don't misunderstand me now. Eh? It's not like that. It's not what you think. Eh? Nani, please come back now. Hey, now it has not gotten to this now. What is all this, eh? Hey, Nani, you're still going. This place is not so beautiful. But I want you to just manage for now. That's what you call manage. I like it. It's, it's okay. Yes. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. No, it's okay. Thank you. All right. I have to get going now. Uh, but, um, babe, you, you told me you're a student. Mm -hmm. How did you get money to get this place for me? <laughs> Don't bother yourself about that. I always know how to get money from my mother. Oh, your mother. Yes, my mom. Ah, okay. Once again, thank you. You're welcome. Come here. 